Welcome once again. I am Teacher Kazembe from Fountain School. In Expressive Arts today, we are still looking at constructional crafts. Remember, last time we were looking at picture making. Under picture making, we discussed different techniques under picture making, of which we mentioned of a mosaic. We mentioned of an applique. We also mentioned of a collage. And a collage, a mosaic, and a plink. And also we talked of a. And last but not the least, the montage. These are the four picture making techniques that, that we looked at last time. So if you want to learn more about this, watch the previous video. Now, today we are going to look at another construction crafts method. So we are going to look at carving. So we need first to understand what the word carving means. So carving is simply the crafts of making items using materials such as wood or stone in an artistic way. So we can define carving as Alright, so carving is the craft of making items using materials such as stone or wood in an artistic way. So, if you want to practice carving, you cannot just start with stone or wood. You can even use other materials that you feel you can use. Now, on top of maybe wax, you cannot. You can start with that at home. Apart from that, you can even use soap, but I'm not saying you get the soap from home. Tell mom or dad to buy you soap that you can maybe try and maybe do one uh, or two things out of that. But the main materials that we use in carving are stone or wood. For you now to make an item, you need different tools. So you're going to look at the tools that are used in carving. One, you can use a knife. You can use a knife. Apart from a knife, you can use an axe. Apart from an axe, you can use what you call the eggs. Apart from that, you can use, you need a chisel. You need a chisel. You also need a sandpaper. You also need a sandpaper. Not only that, you also need a fire. These are some of the tools that are used. Apart from this, it's also important that when you are using a workbench, you also need what we call a clamp, holding the piece that you are working out on. Now, these are some of the tools that we use uh, in carving. I'm going to show you some of the tools that I have with me here. For example, a knife. You need a knife, and the knife looks like this. So this is a knife that is used in a carving. But in a situation where the piece is big and it is hard, you cannot only use a knife, you can also use what we call a panga. It's bigger than a knife when you look at it. A knife is smaller than a panda. Alright, so this is the difference. Now, sometimes this, in some books, you find they are calling it a machet. In other books, they call it a panda. So don't be confused. We are just talking about one and the same thing. It, is, it looks like a knife, but it's bigger than a knife. So these are some of the tools. And then, we also have the axe. 
This axe is specifically for curving purposes. So it's a curving axe, this one. Even when you look at it, it's a little bit unique and different. Apart from that, I also have another thing that we mentioned here. We mentioned of a sandpaper. This is the type of a sandpaper that I have here. It's a little bit rough here on the surface. It helps to smoothen the work, the piece of uh, the piece that you are working on. This is a sandy paper. In the absence of a sand paper, you can therefore now use this thing that you can see me holding here. It is called a file. It is also used for smoothening the piece of work that you are working on. Now, in a situation where a piece of wood that you are working on cannot allow you to use an axe for you to cut, you can also use a, this thing that is in my, my hands here, the saw. So, it is a saw. You can also use a saw in an absence of an axe. You can also use a saw. For example, if you are maybe making a face mask, traditional face mask that we have, sometimes you can use a saw, especially when you are cutting the type of wood that is flat. I have come up with the piece of wood with me here. This piece of wood, it can be used to also make any other, any material, that, any, anything that you want to make out of this material. This is the wood that we are talking about. Now, for us to make this, for us to make anything, we need to, to, to look at the point that we need to consider. But in a situation where you need to use what we call a chisel, you cannot just use a chisel. Sometimes we use it with the help of this tool that we call a mallet. We use a mallet. It's just that with me here, I don't have a mallet I could have shown you. But the mallet looks like a hammer. But it, it's not, this is the hammer. But the mallet looks a little bit different from the hammer. Are we together? Okay. Now, these are some of the tools that we use when that we use in carving. Now I want us to look at now the, the points that we need to consider. So points to consider when in carving. Okay, let's now look at the points to consider or points to remember in carving. One, point number one. Point number one, you need to choose the correct or the suitable the suitable type of food that is very important so when you are choosing the wood you need to choose the wood wisely why? because there are type, types of wood that are too hard for you to work on you cannot work on a very hard type of wood. Again, there are also other type of wood that are just too, they are too soft that we, even when you are trying to make anything, they cannot stand, they cannot work out. So your wood that you've chosen should at least be not very soft, again should not be too hard again. So this is one point that we need to consider. So in other words, we are saying, choose the wood wisely. It's very important. Apart from that, you need to find the piece of wood that is close to what you want to make. So choose So this is another point that you need to remember or consider. So you choose the type of wood that is close to the shape of your final carving. For example, if I want to make a mask, I will not go for a type of wood like this one. When you look at the shape itself, it's not allowing me to make a mask out of it. 
If you want to make a mass, I'll go for a flat what? For a flat kind of what? Good. This would only allow me to make maybe a cooking stick out of it from the way it is looking. So choose the type of wood that is close to the shape of your final carving. That is what this point means. Another point that you need to look at is that when you when you are carving, remember that you should carve in the same direction as the grains of that wood. So carve In the same direction as the grains of the hood. So in this case, when you have seen this hood, the grains they are going to this direction. So when I'm trying to curve this thing, I will be following exactly where the direction where these grains are. We are doing what? The direction, the direction as the grains of the hood. When the grains of the wood are, that's the direction that I will follow when I'm trying to carve this thing. So I'll be following the direction of the grains of the wood, just like that. So it's very, very important. Okay, so these are some of the points that you need to consider. But now, the question can be, what are some of the things or items that you can make out of this type of uh, crafts. So we are going to look at also the item that can be made out of carving. So let's look at the item that you can make out of carving. Okay. Items that can be made out of carving. One, you can make cooking sticks. We've seen cooking sticks. Cooking sticks. Even at home, there is one. So one, a cooking stick. You can make a cooking stick. Apart from that, people they even make plates. Apart from that, people they even make stools. Nice stools. You cannot only make this even toys for decoration purposes. There are many many things you have to can make out of a uh, carving. So. Sometimes there are even traditional masks that you can make. Masks. So there are a lot of things or items that can be made out of carving. And I'm sure where you are, you can even list and mention even more items that are made out of this type of art, which is carving. So these are some of the things that I wanted us to look at today. So I'm going to show you a chart as usual so that we can discuss more from what we have just been from discussing. Okay, so let's just quickly look at the chart and discuss. So I said carving is the craft of making items from materials such as wood or stone. I mentioned that it is done in an artistic way. So there are tools that we use. Quickly go through the tools. We have a knife, axe, edge, a chisel, a mallet, file, sandpaper, and a clamp. We've looked at some of the tools like I showed you, but some I did not show you because they are not available. But I've explained what we use them for. So now, points to consider. One, we should remember that we need to choose the wood wisely. So we need to choose the wood wisely. Apart from that, we need to find a piece of wood that is close in shape to your final cover. So apart from that, point number three. Carve in the same direction as the grains. We also looked at the items that can be carved. One, cooking stick, you can carve stools, 
toys, plates, masks, and many more. So there are a lot of things that you can make out of this. So this is the lesson for today of which I'm going now to give you the exercise to see if at all you are following. So the exercise that I'll give you is very simple. Okay, and in the exercise, question number one is say, define carbon. Very simple, isn't it? Question number two, list four items that can be made that can be carved. Pretty simple, isn't it? Number three, list six tools used for carving. Only six. Number four, state three points to remember or to consider when carving. So only three points that I need here. So this is the exercise that you're going to do for me in your books. Have been your teacher, teacher Kazembe from Fountain School Kasama. Thank you very much.